Hi, this is Abdul Rahim al Harash from Insane IT Skills, and in this module, we are going to be covering control statements in Java. And really, up to this point, we haven't done anything particularly interesting in Java. We have learned about Java itself, we have learned about variables and how to declare them, and we have learned about classes in Java, but we haven't actually been able to solve any problems or to do any real logic. And the reason why we haven't been able to do that is because we haven't gotten to control statements or conditional statements. Control statements allow us to actually branch our code and to change the flow of the execution of our code. This allow us to actually solve problems and to do some interesting things in Java. So let's go over what we are going to cover in this module. Where the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to talk about control statements in general. There is basically three types of control statements and I'm going to introduce those three types to you so you can understand from a high level what kinds of control statements can exist. Then we are going to go down and we are going to cover each of the particular types of control statements that exist in Java. First we will look at the if and else statement which is a basic way to branch your code based on a Boolean condition. Then we will get into the switch statement, which is a way to do almost the same thing as an if and else, but is a lot cleaner when you have a series of conditions that you want to check and do something based on that condition. Then we will look at our first loop, which is the for loop, which is a loop that allows us to increment a counter while we are looping through some section in our code. And then we will look at the for each loop, which is another special kind of loop, which makes it very easy for us to do a loop and to look through things in a container or in some kind of collection. <coughs> then we will look at the while loop, which is just a very simple and basic loop that allows us to loop until some condition is met. And then finally, we will look at the break and continue statements, which are used to get us out of a loop early either by breaking out of the loop entirely or continuing to the next iteration of that loop.